guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodi and I wanted to share with you some more of the holiday 2011 offerings from the department store. This time the offerings are from Estee Lauder. Their lip stick and lip gloss gift sets. Uh, they are available internationally from what I can tell, Australia, the US, the UK and probably wherever you can find Estee Lauder, dare I say. Uh, so I will start here with the Estee Lauder Pure Color Lipstick Luxuries and I think it's a combination of permanent lipsticks and special edition lipsticks. One of the frustrating things about these sets is that they do not print the names of the shades that are included in the set anywhere on the outside of the box. If you do go to your country's Estee Lauder website, they will list the colors there. And of course I'll list them here for you today as well as give you swatches. When I went to the store, they did not have samples out to swatch, um, but they have since pulled out a set for people to look at. I hate um, buying makeup without swatching and getting, you know, a feel for the product. Um, and so when swatches aren't on offer, it bothers me a little bit. I've taken it out of the box here and I'll just show you. It's sort of a, you know, a plasticky um, patent leather type finish here, a deep cherry red with that quilted pattern. It does have a lovely, uh, looks like a, a well-constructed uh, gold zip with a nice little gold detailing with the Estee Lauder insignia imprinted and embossed on that little tag. So when you open it, it does open with the plastic casing um, with the lipsticks in it just to hold them all in place. It's quite a nice presentation. Obviously the case slips out um, to give you a little um, bag like that. That would be good for short size brushes, obviously lipsticks or any sort of short products that you may um, want to use for travel. So I'll start here with the first lipstick. This is the Pure Color in Tiramisu. It's a shimmer finish and uh, it's quite a sheer sort of frosty pink. You can see it right there. Sorry about the autofocus. So that would be quite a nice, you could certainly use that over other lipstick colors. Um, quite a nice versatile natural kind of color. Next one is the Pure Color in Wild Orchid. This is a shimmer and Wild Orchid, Orchid like the first color that I swatched, is also sheer, um, but a nice sort of um, brighter pink sheer color there. This is the pure color number 87 in Sunstone. It's the Sunstone that I'm wearing today. That's the Sunstone there. That's more of a, a red, redder version. And then moving on to the fourth out of the five lipsticks. This is the pure color Rose Envy. And that is a, uh, a pink, it's a red, more of a red pink than that second color I showed you, but you can see really nice variety of colors there. The fifth color is uh, a shimmer also in Bitten Fig, and Bitten Fig is beautiful, and this is the creamiest, I would say, of the five colors. Um, it's the least shimmery, and that is close to, that is sort of the deepest, darkest red. It's a beautiful sort of holiday style red, and um, yeah, it's not an out and out red. It's a very wearable red you can see there. So a really nice variation of colors, um, all pinks. I would say nothing too um, browny. I certain wouldn't, certainly wouldn't mind a sort of brown in that mix, but really nice variation. If you're buying this as a gift, I would say that whoever you're giving it to would certainly find something that was, you know, quite usable uh, in there. But they are beautiful, beautiful gold casing, um, and also they are regular full size lipsticks. That's worth noting. In Australia, this set of lipsticks retails for seventy five dollars. In the US. Um, from the Estee Lauder website, I can see $37.50. Moving on to the second set. This is the lip gloss offering from Estee Lauder this year, and it's called the Pure Color Gloss To Go. It does have mini lip glosses in it this time. Really cute. Again, you would want to put minis of whatever it is in here. You could certainly put, you know, cotton buds or um, cotton balls or anything like that for travel. That same zip with the same little protected um, Estee Lauder logo on the zip pull. Uh, this lip gloss set while I'm opening it, I'll tell you it does retail in Australia for $65 and in the States for $32.50. So I would say the UK and elsewhere offerings would be closer to the Australian pricing. 
The first one I want to show you is a sparkle lip gloss in number 44, Sugar Rush. It's absolutely beautiful. It does have some um, colour to it, so you would certainly be changing a colour if you put it on top of a lipstick. Uh, that is the colour there. It does look quite clear, quite sparkly. Most of the glosses in this set are sparkly. You can certainly see micro glitters in the lip gloss in the bottle and certainly glitters I think when you do pop it on your lips. Next colour is like a frosty sort of shell pink. This is in the colour Pink Innocence. It's a shimmer, number 21. And that is, yeah, much, it's more of a frost than a glitter as, as it looks from the packaging. You can see how it compares with the first one being more sort of goldy tinge and this one being pink. Hence the name Pink Innocence. Third colour here is called Wired Copper. That is a shimmer, number 13. Wired Copper looks closer to the second shade I just swatched for you in that it's more of a sort of frosty sheen than, than a glittery sheen. And you can see that's definitely the peachiest of the three. So we've got more of a gold, more of a pink, and more of a peachy type finish. That wired copper is absolutely beautiful. Moving on to the deeper tones from the set, we've got this Star Ruby, which is a sparkle. So it's the sparkles that are more of the glossy type um, finishes. This one certainly has visible gold, um, gold, orange, even some multicolored glitters in it uh, on a sort of really light ready pink base. Beautiful. Second last color here is called Raspberry Pop. Raspberry Pop is a sparkle. Again, you can sort of see the glitters inside the um, tube before you open it. And this is a more cool toned pink as per the um, bottle. You can see that finish there. Certainly glitters showing up. Absolutely beautiful. That's something you could certainly wear just you know on its own over your lip and just have a bit of sheen and um, be quite a natural beautiful colour. And this last colour I want to show you is the colour that actually sold the set to me. Um, this is, I think, yeah, this one is part of their permanent range. So you can buy this one on its own. It's called Plum Divine. Plum Divine is a shimmer and it's just a gorgeous sort of brownie, purpley, plum type colour. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's not the one I'm wearing today. The one that I'm wearing today is that sandstone lipstick. I think that's the one in the middle. So these kits from Estee Lauder are a little bit more expensive than the kits that I've recently showed you from Clinique. Certainly more traditional um, product here from Estee Lauder. Beautiful product though. You certainly would not want to give it to someone who does not like fragrance. It does remind me a little bit of the YSL sort of watermelony ta uh, taste. They do have a certainly a fruity type fragrance, a cherry type, watermelon type fragrance and taste. These lip glosses are more on the uh, sticky side and I'm not sure how long lasting they are, but I think the color swatches are important. If you are looking at this set and uh, the color swatches are not available to you, I hope that this certainly does help. If you do have any questions, please pop them down below. And if you have any Estee Lauder lipsticks that you um, love and would also like to recommend, definitely let me know as well as anything else that you'd like to tell me. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.